Shay Shay, hello. <laughs> She's on fire, y'all. One more, one more. Oh! Helen. Hello, Helen. Capital D, delicious. Thanks to my friends here who told me that strawberry is the best. You can pay to catch your own shrimp. What you got there? In the top five best street foods I've had. From Sheeling Mo. Yeah. Oh, pow. Shilin Night Market. If you type in Taiwan food, I guarantee you the first search result that's gonna pop up is this market right here. Shilin is the granddaddy. It's the King Kong. It's the big dumpling daddy of all the night markets here in Taipei. You already know the rules. We're gonna get five to six different bites to chow down on. We can't get anything that I've already had in the previous videos. So if you look up here, you can check out all my other Taiwan food tour videos. All those foods were delicious. We're only getting new foods. There are apparently over 500, 500 different food vendors out here in these streets. As always, I'm gonna be sharing the cost of every single bite that we're about to chow down here today. So let's not waste another single second. Let's get into it. Oh, look at this. Look at these things. I just saw someone walk past with these. What in the world? These gotta be the biggest french fries I've ever seen in my life. Ni hao, ni hao. These things, it's like it's like two two feet long. I, I don't know the metric system. Maybe you call that like 200 centimeters or something. Sorry, sorry. But th this thing is like the size of two of my shoes. What? Do, oh, it looks like we can get some sort of different sauces on here. This is the Anarchy Potito. So check this out. My man says these are all the different sauces we can get. You got seaweed, Thai sauce, Caesar salad. Our man here is gonna give us a little backstage tour. He, <laughs> the shop is like in this like amusement area. Well, like, <laughs> what is what is going on here? I think you got. I think you got to take the gun and like shoot the balloons or something. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Alison. Alison, nice to meet you, man. And so we get down deep. We get some of these gigantic potato slices. Get them fried in there and oil smelling really, really nice. Oh, and you can see them now start to separate. Look at that. They are just sizzling in there. Okay, now he's starting to shake off all that excess oil. Oh, they look so crisp. Shay Shay, thank you. thank you so much, my man. Woo and here we go. I like this. They got the little little side uh, side holder, side car for the honey mustard. Y'all, yeah, these things smell and look. Capital D, delicious. Let's just go straight in, all killer, no filler, pow. Mm -hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. They're crunchy? But they're crispy, but they're also light. They don't taste super oily. Whoa, see? Just that it broke right off. These things are very, very delicate. They've got like this salt pepper mixture on them. Mega, mega tasty. The flavor of the potato is really shining. The oil is a great flavor to it as well. Definitely not a greasy French fry. The total price for this though was about 120 NT, which is $3.80. I'm already starting to think that the Sheenlin night market might be a little more expensive than some of the other markets we visited. Okay, okay, we gotta sneak a fry before before I get yelled at for taking up this table here. Look, I mean, that's the biggest French fry I've had in my life, huh? Mmm, 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 mmm. It is a tangy honey mustard. Wow, that definitely blew away my expectations. Y'all, I would give these 4.4 rocket ships. This is an outstanding fry. One of the best international fries I've had. All right, check this out. Come on, eat candy. Yo, shout out to uh, Claire and Peter out there. I saw them eating these in South Korea and they really, really loved them. I've never had them before. And they look super, super appetizing. We got a couple different options here. It looks like we've got maybe like a cherry, strawberry, maybe like a melon or mango, some sort of clementine. Look how, look how pretty, pretty those look. And a pretty affordable price, just over, just about a dollar and fifty cents for sixty NT. We got the random, we got the strawberry, tomato, tomato, and uh, gra gratigus. Not familiar with gratigus. Thanks to my friends here who told me that strawberry is the best. Shay Shay, thank you so much. <laughs> Love, love the people out here, y'all. Okay, this was actually 60 NT, which comes out to about two dollars for one, two, three, for six strawberries. Let's uh, let's hope it's worth it. I don't know what's going on here. I've never had. I believe these are a candied strawberry. They look like they've been covered in some sort of like jelly, kind of like sugar type of mixture. Pow. 
What? Whoa. Oh my God. Wow. Woo. They're frozen and on the outside, they've got like this hard candy shell. As you take a bite, you get this big crunch and then it's almost like the, the strawberry inside is kind of like a puree when you bite it. It reminds me of like strawberry ice cream. This, this is out of control. This is nothing like I expected. I didn't expect it to be cold on a hot day. This thing, a gift, truly, truly a gift from heaven. Really digging the texture combination of that crunchy outer candy layer and then the soft coolness of that strawberry. I could eat like seven more of these y'all not playing around. Unreal. I'm now kind of curious to see what the tomatoes would taste like. Circle back. We're going we're gonna to do some more night market tours and I, I promise you we're going to try the tomato next time. But these candied strawberries y'all, stupid good. 4.8 rocket ships. Just just a, just a triumph, absolutely in love. Back to back bangers to start things off in this food tour, baby. Sheelan Night Market, super, super lit. We're gonna walk down this way. American oysters, oh, look at the size of that. Now, why would I come to Taiwan and wanna eat an American oyster? I don't understand. It looks like we got some, chi oh, that's a lobster? For 550 NT, half a lobster. I can't even do the math on that. Way too expensive. We've got this gigantic line of beautiful people here. Ni hao, ni hao. They're all staring at me because I'm the idiot with the camera. But it looks like they're lined up to go here to this thing. Oh, they've, they've definitely won some sort of awards. They're splitting the sausage down the middle and they're stuffing it with like this vegetable spice and herb mix. And then I wonder, I wonder if that is the rice Sausage. Okay, I think I know what's going on here. I couldn't pass it up. I decided to wait in line. The line is moving pretty fast. Take a look at the different ingredients we got to choose from. We got exclusive kimchi. The fact that it says exclusive, kind of leaning towards that one. But then we got garlic, spicy soy sauce, basil, barbecue saute, black pepper, and honey. Let me know in the comments below which one y'all would pick. I'm debating between I love spicy but I feel like that's that's just gonna be like a sauce or a paste. I feel like the kimchi, it's gonna give me some like texture, you know, some bite. As I'm waiting in line, all these people keep walking by with all this good food, and I'm like, what you got there? Well, that looks pretty good. What you got there? I don't know what sauces she's mashing up right now, but that one looks like the best one. It, it's kind of giving me soy sauce vibes. That thing looks just like oozing the flavor. I see a little bit of green onion there, I see some what I think is garlic. So one of these Taiwanese sausages with sticky rice is only 65 NT. That's about $2.15, mega, mega deal. There's that sausage split down the middle. And then that thing they're cooking up right there, that's the sticky rice that they're gonna put on right now. Oh yeah, watch her, she's gonna slice it. Whoa, just kind of like opened up like a cocoon. Okay, and then she's dropping the sticky rice in the plastic bag, spread it out. She's taking the uh, the mixture. Ooh, she's putting that mixture in there as well. Didn't know we were didn't know we were double dipping. I dig it. I dig it. Oh, look at the flames coming off that thing. Wow. Shay Shay. Okay, the streets were just a little too chaotic, so we pulled up to the nearest 7-Eleven, uh, got myself a water, because, you know, I can't come in here. I'm not some degenerate. I gotta spend a little money if I'm gonna use their table space. All right, the Taiwanese sausage with sticky rice. When I did the translation, it said this was intestines, but I don't believe it's intestines. Google Translate sometimes gets us a little lost uh, in translation. Oh, this thing, this thing is like heavy. It feels like just, just under a pound. It's a lot, a lot of food right here. Okay, we've got this outside paper wrap. We're trying to slowly <laughs> stare that apart. Here, come and take a look at this piece of art right here. You can see how some of the sauce has kind of been absorbed into the rice. The sausage just looks cooked straight, straight to perfection, y'all. Okay, here we go. We're gonna peel back that plastic wrap just a little bit because we want it all. Oh. All right, pow. Mm. Mm. Unreal, unreal. This right here, easily in the top five best street foods I've had in Taiwan so far. And we've had a lot of street foods. Where to begin? Just like some of the other Taiwanese sausages we've had, very, 
very sweet sausage. I dig it though. It gets balanced out really well by what I still think is the soy sauce combination because it's very salty, very savory. The rice, sticky, but still fluffy. I don't know if you can see it here, but there's also these really big chunks of garlic in that sauce that's giving it just this amazing flavor and aroma. Combine that with the crunchiness of those spring onions and the flavor coming off those. It would have been so difficult to walk around eating this thing. Mm. That sausage, it's so tender, it's so juicy. The fact they split it down the middle means it's evenly cooked all throughout. I don't know what else to say to this, y'all. This is a five rocket ship food right here. This is this is perfection. It can't get any better. However, I would love to go back and try some of those other sauces. Straight back into the chaos. And as you can see, like, whoa, 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 whoa. The crowd doubled since the time we got our sticky uh, sausage rice. Let's, uh, let's go dig in and see what else we can find here. Okay, what are we working with here? like might be some sort of fried balls. Oh, they've won some sort of award too. Meow. Uh, spicy fish ball? Yeah. Spicy fish ball? Good. Yeah, yeah, one. Shay, shay. All right, I saw a lot of people walking with the, oh, shay, shay. I saw a lot of people walking with these uh, spicy fish balls in their hand. Shay, shay, thank you. And here we go. Look at these things, 35 NT, so uh, just about a dollar. $1.25, maybe a little less. Here we go. I asked for the spicy fish ball. They might have had some other different flavors on here. I just pointed to the one that the girl in front of me got because it looked good. Although I've been holding this so long, waiting for it to cool down. I think all the flavoring and, and seasoning fell off. But oh well, pow! The flavor on here, absolutely insane. Spicy, heavy, heavy pepper blend. I'm definitely picking up like some cayenne pepper. We're talking like the white pepper, the black pepper mixed in here too. Like starting to fill my entire mouth and my chest with this heat. Gotta say, the flavor is really, really nice. The flavor of the fish ball itself, it's a mild, mild fish flavor. Good value, good quick treat, an all around banger, especially if you like fish ball. I gotta give the fish balls 3.6 rocket ships. So all along the Sheeling Night Market, you've also got these restaurants that are super busy as well. I mean, people lined up to get into those. We're only sticking to street food. I don't got time to sit down. Ni hao. Ooh, watermelon juice. Is the Avery pulling the trigger on the watermelon juice? Gosh, does that look good. Looks like she's got a couple other concoctions over here too. Shay, Shay, thank you. Okay, we are gonna go ahead and pull the trigger on this uh, this watermelon juice. Wow, this thing looks super, super good. Really pulpy. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks very, very cloudy, which tells me it's fresh AF. This was, what up, man? This was only uh, 35 NT, which is just like, again, a dollar and 25 cents. Pow. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Mega, mega refreshing. Kind of thick, not thick like a smoothie, but you can definitely tell there's like that watermelon pulp in there giving you all that fiber. That's tasty, that's as good as it gets. It's sweet, but you can tell that they, what is that noise? Oh, it's it's another one of these things, it's another shooting gallery. Yo, if you're watching, what, what is Taiwan's obsession with, with, with the shooting gallery here? I mean, when it comes to watermelon juice, this is as good as watermelon juice gets. This is as good as juice gets, fresh, Ice, ice cold. What, what more can you say? 4.5 rocket ships. Outstanding. Shay Shay, hello. How are you? Um, um, are, 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 are you going to try the shrimp? Is it is it nice? Very nice. Very nice, very nice. Shay Shay, what's your name? My name is Lin. Lin. Lin, Lin. My mom's name is Lin. Oh. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. Now here's a fascinating slice of life. Look at this. You can pay to catch your own shrimp. And then I think that they cook them up for you over there on that on that little skillet or that grill over there. I don't know how I feel about that, y'all. And we've somehow wandered out of the food section again into another just chaotic, a chaotic carnival game section. Uh, and we would call this a midway in the United States. And oh, that's loud. She's on fire, y'all. One more, one more, oh! I hope I didn't put her on the spot and, and, and made her miss. Time, time to move away. And this is where our journey is going to come to an end. A very, very humid and hot journey. Shouldn't have worn long sleeves today. 
a Michelin Guide restaurant, 2018 to 2021. Not sure what happened in 2022 or 2023, but this is Ah Hey Thin Noodles. Ni hao, ni hao. Wow, look at this combination. We've got the noodles stewing in this broth here. We've got all these other kinds of sauces. I don't even know what's going on. I think that might be a little pork in there. Of course, we got cilantro. Let's see, I think I, I wanna get the number one here, the traditional, which looks to be, oh, number one, yeah. Ni hao, uh, number one, yi. Ching. Oh, okay. Going this way, going this way. Oh, oh, okay. Now it makes more sense. We got a big line over here. I was very, very confused. I thought Michelin Award. Oh, ni hao, hello. hello. What's your name? Helen. Hello, Helen. What's your name? Mihan. Mihan, hello. And you have very nice children. Hi, yeah, kids. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, she she. She she ni. She Okay, so what do we got here? 60 back. We went with the small number one of the uh, thin noodles, which is about 40 NT, which is, oh my gosh, that's a dollar and 50 cents. Oh, she she. Oh, no, hold it like this. Oh, okay. Thank you. I was very, very confused. She wanted to make sure I hold it uh, by this angle, I think, so I don't burn myself. What are we working with here? We got all sorts of different toppings and things we can add. Looks like some chili oil. Let's just get to it. Now, how am I going to... Ah! Oh, it's hot. And so I'm on and check this out. Look at all these other noodle maniacs we got in here trying to sit down and find a place to eat. All right, we've managed to find a, a, a cozy spot on the steps here. We got the light cranked all the way up. Let me turn it around so y'all can see what we're working with here. With these thick noodles, I don't know how it's gonna look here in the dark. Somebody should have invested in maybe a light here. Wow, look at these things. The broth looks so thick, it looks goopy. And of course, I'm spilling it everywhere. Yo, I, I think these are the only noodles that actually get hotter uh, as they sit in the bowl. I've been holding onto these for like eight minutes now and it's still just nuclear grade. All right, we're gonna get a big scoop. We got some of that pork in there and then we've got a bunch of broth and we got some noodles and we got some cilantro. Pow. Mmm, mmm. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's good. Not too spicy, very savory. The broth packing a ton, a ton of flavor. I feel like that broth has been simmering since the, since the Stone Age. My gosh, that's really, really good. The noodles themselves, they've kind of got this like gelatinous texture to them. I don't know like at what temperature or how they were cooked, but not quite an al dente noodle, much more like gummy, but I dig it. I really, really dig it. And the flavor though coming off this broth, mm, spectacular. The pork, really tender. You can tell it's super juicy for me and soaked in this broth for God knows how long. On oh, unreal. The cilantro, absolutely essential to this. Gives it that nice, crisp, fresh element in here. Let's get another big piece of that pork right there, pal. Mmm, mmm. Wow. Okay, this was mega tasty, mega delicious. I didn't think we were gonna end the night with a big noodle dish, but y'all could not have asked for a better noodle soup. I think what I like most about these noodles is the simplicity. You've got the broth, you've got the pork, you've got the noodles, you've got the cilantro, and as far as I can tell, that's it. I'm not seeing or tasting any other vegetables in here, but whatever like herb and spice mix was used to, to create this broth, just, just next level good. Gotta say that whatever spice they added was also essential as well because it really contrasts nicely with just the overall saltiness and savoriness of these noodles and the broth. The spice was, was much, much needed. But yeah, absolute banger. Would definitely get it again. I'm gonna give this 3.9 rocket chips to the uh, A. Hey, I think that was the name, Thin Rice Noodles. And that's that, sheesh. Okay, been very fortunate to have been to some of the craziest street food cities in the world. I can honestly say that there is nothing like the Xilin Night Market here in Taipei, Taiwan. We didn't even scratch the service. There are at least six, seven, eight, nine 
other foods I wanted to try here. My suspicion tells me that I'm gonna be able to find a lot of these same foods at some of the other night markets throughout Taiwan. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because we are gonna try to hit as many night markets while we are here in Taiwan as possible. Major shout out to all the super nice attendants, especially the queen right here, the sticky rice sausage lady. You already know that was the best thing that I had in this night market tour. Probably the best thing that I had in Taiwan. Just an absolute smoker. Shout out to her. Shout out to everybody else who was so nice, who came up to say hello, who came up to tell me what I should eat. Greatly appreciate y'all. And of course, mega thanks to 3D uh, Kitty Cat over there. My name's Brent Tim from Sheeling Mo And uh, I don't know if you saw that, but the, the cat just shot a 3D piece of poop at, at me. That's cool, that's cool. My name's Brent Tim from the Xilin Night Market in Taipei, Taiwan, and I'm saying ciao for now.